Okay, everybody, how you doing? This is Gary D from DIY Dollar Bills. Okay, I'm on my Amazon Seller Central account. And now, how do I list some of these 88 products, 88 lots products on Amazon? Let's find out. Okay, so first, I'm going to concentrate more on the screen instead of my ugly face. I am going to this first item here which we saw in my previous videos that put up was the It's Owl Good little kit's um, water bottle, ages five and up. I'm going to type in here the I E I S N number 845604091. Four seven zero. Hit enter, and there it is. It's in the back. It's the very first item. The actual cost on that was two dollars and thirteen cents. Um, even though everything in the box averaged three dollars, uh, slightly less than four dollars, three dollars and ninety cents or so. There was actual cost for each item. Like if you go to eight 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 lots, it shows you actual cost here there it is two dollars and thirteen cents and they have it listed for most expensive if we go up here the most expensive thing i bought was nineteen dollars expected to sell for 45 on amazon but some of these prices may not be there anymore they may change may go up or down some stuff may be higher on ebay i thought this sold higher on uh, there it is there I clicked all buying options. Only one person has it. They have a five dollars, but they're charging four ninety nine shipping and delivery. It can be a couple of weeks, so it doesn't seem like anybody else has it. Now I have this program called Jungle Scout, which I'll talk in a future video about this. This video lets me know. Look, it was at one point it was selling six in a month, thirteen in a month, um, eight in a month, eleven in a month. right one and then it died out but since i haven't i'm going to put it up there and um i can click my jungle scout up here and it tells me lately there hasn't been any sales or whatever all right jungle scouts are pretty good uh piece of software it's not it's a little bit pricey but it tells you what sells and i use it for it's gonna i figure i get it now and i'm gonna be selling a lot on amazon well back to the I digress. So we're going to go cool water bottle here. I'm going to select a condition. It is new. I'm going to sell this product. And when I get to this point, that means I can sell it. All right. I'm going to put in my SKU, which I made a SKU for it was 727. A00235. This is skew my own SKUs I make up. My price is going to be 9.99. Now I'm guessing here. This is the first product of Amazon. Only one guy has it and he doesn't have it on Amazon. It's FBM, so he's charging $4.99 shipping. So I have it here. I wonder if I put it at $10.99. Why not? I put it for a dollar high, but you're going to get it from Amazon directly. Quantity is one condition is let me click back one second now I'm gonna click it as new it's new it ain't never been used now if I ship the item myself ship I'll get a 499 shipping credit Amazon fees if sold you know, 414 business days. If I ship it to Amazon, Amazon will ship to provide customer service. I'm going to do something else here. I have, um, let me, let me call up over here. I'll click here. I have an Amazon revenue calculator. All right. Um, let me go back and type in 
By the way, I have a box next to me. This box will be with stuff that goes to Amazon. So this will be... Um, eight, four, five, six, zero, four, zero, nine, one, four, zero, seven, zero. Okay. Well, the, oh, hold on. Missing for AISN. Skew. Change that there. What? All right, let's go here. You know what? I can go to 888 lots and pull up the ASIN number right there. Uh, copy that out. Go back to the calculator. We'll put in the ASIN keyword. Copy in the ASIN number. Let's just look at the calculator. I'm sure it's a faster way of doing this. So if I'm going to price this at Amazon fulfillment, let's say I do it at 10.99 here, and two point. I'm sorry. If, uh, no, 10.99. We'll just leave that there. And the cost of product was two dollars and thirteen cents, and we'll hit calculate, and it shows me fulfillment. If I do five dollar over here, okay. So I will make three dollars and eighty six cents. It is going into Amazon. So if I do nine ninety nine like the other guy, I can. All right. Now I do not pay. The $40 a month fee. So what's not showing here is they will probably take an extra dollar 99 cents. So I'll probably make two bucks on it. That's after paid, after fees, after everything. Um, hey, that's, um, $2 and 13 cents cost. I will make back $2 on it. That is near a hundred percent ROI. Not a lot of money, but not horrible. I could probably do better with this on eBay. Let's take a look on eBay here. Um, let's go click here. Let's go to eBay. All right, we can go. Uh, let's go back here. Let's pull it up. Cool Owl, Cool Gear Owl plastic bottle. Let's pull that up here. And there it is, $7.50 plus $5.95. Um, let's go to the sold listings. $5. Dollar fifty plus four twenty-five, seven ninety-nine. Yeah, this is not going on eBay. This is definitely going to Amazon. It could sit on Amazon for six months. I'll probably charge me two cents a month. That is going on Amazon. All right, so we're going to put it up there. I'm going to put it up there for $9.99. All right, condition is new. Amazon will provide. Let's see what I'm doing here. I'll remember selling this for next time. Okay, let's go here. Let's click. Are you serious? Is that it? That I have. Save and finish. Repack. Uh, no setup charging. You only pay for the services you use. I have read. Get started with fulfillment by Amazon. This is the first time we're seeing this, people. I'm seeing this with you. Or whatever I'm learning. Restricted categories are in proper packaging. Your label options, create your shipment. Okay, thank you for registering. Well, what happened here? Go back. I didn't mean to click anything. Oh, come on. Item label must be attached to each unit 
for what you do now is the stickless command. Okay, this must be dealing with the 30, all the small sticker labels condition. Okay. Accept label service. Review selection. Confirm selection. Choose barcode tape. Ugh. Okay. Save and continue. Dangerous goods information. Does it utilize batteries? No. No. Product man. Dangerous goods require responses. Submit. Complete edit form. I don't need to edit that. Continue. This is exciting. A valid ship from address. Okay, I'm going to while well, all products are coming here, we're limiting the quantity I can send. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is pause the video and uh, put in my address and then come back. So pause. Okay, unpause. I'll blur out my address. Um, apply to all. Continue. What else am I missing here? Need packaging materials prep required. Okay, review prep. Confuse here. Label products. Thirty up labels. I've got, got these on Amazon here. All right. I mean, I got those. I bought those off of eBay. Um, there is you, merchant one label to print. We're not ready for that yet, so we're not going to print. We're going to continue here. This is going to Charlotte. Approve and continue. I don't want to. I might be going ahead of myself. Don't work on shipment yet. Okay, I want to stop here. I have more stuff. I don't want to finalize something when I have more stuff to do. So let's stop here. Let's go back to the Amazon page. Let's see what happens now. We're going to try for a second item randomly. Go back here. Let me pull out the shield and seal. So this is my first video. Um, let's put in the skew. 0, 4, 0, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 7, 7, 1, 6. There it is. Apply to sell. Let's see if they're going to allow me to sell it. Request approval. Nope. No, I need for manufacturing. I can't get it from a thing, so I can't sell that. So that is eBay. That's going to be eBay. Let's try the next one. This is that Nike, um, that Nike thing. I'll try that. B06. Let's see, let's see, I believe this is the, um, JL. 597. This is the ace, and that was already listed in there. There it is. Oh, wow. Cool. Apply to sell. You know this ain't going to happen. Uh, request approval to sell Nike. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I'll be, un I'll be ungated in more stuff one day. It's my first time. I don't expect to get a lot of these. B07245. Whoops. 
five P D G N five. What was this launch pad? Well, B zero seven. Let me find it in my in my lots here. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Don't tell me the cost on this was that high. Is the Nike? No. Let me make sure I typed it in correctly here. B zero seven Q five P B G N five. If I have a hard time finding this, I'm gonna definitely go for this for eBay. But I want a better description of what I'm doing here. Um. This video may be in several parts. I don't want to make a two hour video. I may do go out this straight for another 45 minutes before I stop. Um, I want to find it. Remember, you guys are watching me. I'm doing this for the first time. Yeah, lunch bags for women. Uh, lunch bags, soft note. Yeah, this is it here. This is the one. It's 534, it's 1149 copy that out. Let me just make sure that's what is actually going in the SKU there. Maybe I have to use caps. Maybe it doesn't exist on that. Alright, so this is what I can create a new listing. Can I? Let's see what happens if I click create a new listing. Ugh. I don't feel like doing that. That's for another time. Don't want to do that today. All right, let's try these um wine cork openers. Um, oh, there is the skew. Skew is zero four. When you do the skew, there's a little number outside the barcode on each side. Usually, definitely at the beginning. Sometimes it's at the end. You got to put those numbers in two. It usually starts with zero, but it could be on any number up there. So, 4072 I know I'm being boring, but if you've never done this before, you're watching the joy and the struggles of it. Select a condition. New. Sell. Uh oh, yes. Tell me yes. Yes! I got two of them, too. All right. These over here, they are going to Amazon. All right, so what I want to do is first of all, I'm going to use a uh, 236 here 727A00236. What is the price? It is selling one new. Wait a minute. Uh... I'd like to check what it's actually selling for on Amazon. First of all, let me go to Amazon regular here. Let's do, um, let me put in that ASIN number. Really? It says you do have them. View listing on Amazon. I'm just click that. There we go. There it is. Seven ninety nine. See all buying options. Seven ninety nine. What did this, what did this particular item cost me? Two thirteen. I saw it at the bottom. Two dollars and thirteen cents. Let's go to home. Let's click the Amazon calculator. This ain't gonna be that all that good, but you know, things are gonna make you like 50 cents or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so if Amazon fulfillment $7.99 and you know it cost you two dollars and thirteen cents, two point one three, calculate what's gonna cost you, you gotta make a dollar sixteen. Hey, fifty percent. 
a little more than 50% ROI. Let's return on investment. Invest 213, 213 back, get an extra dollar 16. All right, so that's good enough. All right, so we're going to sell this product. I think we're going to sell it for. I don't know why you call it collectible. I'm calling it new. Seven. Let's do. I'm doing eight ninety nine. I can change the price later. I imagine I can. Collectible, very good. Collectible, acceptable. Let me look at these. Two of them in the same condition. They're wrapped. Oh, they're completely wrapped in the plastic. They've never been used before. They don't even have fingerprints. Check the other one. Here. Check both of these. Wearing Pro. Thank you, Wearing Pro, for allowing me to sell. This one has... <laughs> That one even still has the um, zip tie around it, so you can't even open it. Yeah, these are new. I'm calling them new. Fulfill, Amazon will provide. So what I'm going to do is click Save and Finish. Uh, barcode type Amazon barcode. Save and continue. Add dangerous goods information. It's a new item. No, it does not have batteries. Does not do this. Submit. Oh boy, this is not as easy as listing as on eBay. Even if the individual products, I'll leave this individual. Can, uh, Create new or add to an existing shipping plan. Let me see if it'll show up the other item. Put in two. Okay, want to manufacture barcode tracking, which is fine with me. Whatever. Information required? Removal required? Well, I don't know what that is. So that's nothing there. All products. Continue. Oh, I just missed it. Add products. Add product. Add product. Not yet. Hold on. A few. Continue. And that's it. I have two items here. Choose category. Do I have to? It's so prep needed. Well, what if I don't want to? It's going to make me do it, ain't it? Um, choose category. This is uh, just a bit small. Oh no. Okay, I see. Which is I see where we're going with this. Oh, no prep needed. What if I put baby products? No. No prep needed. Uh, uh, apparel adult liquids. Okay. So I'm going to put no prep needed for this. And this one too. No prep needed. Let's just do that. What if I hit continue here? What is it going to do? Prepare label products. There it is. There's the other one. Okay, one. This is merchant who labels this one. Okay, so. No. 
no, 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 no. I'm going to label it myself. I see that. So if you choose Amazon here, you're going to let them do it for you and they're going to charge you more. I heard about that before. Okay. So what I'm going to do here at this point is I'm going to pause the video for a while and uh, we'll be back later as I continue. Pause. Okay, unpause. All right, so let's go back here. Let's find something else. Uh, I hope I'm doing the right order. Let's check this. Uh... I just don't like the way this box is kind of open. Let's seal it here. All right, this apron set. You'll see the apron set that I have here. Zero, two, eight, eight. I'm sure this would be faster on the phone. Two, eight, eight, four, one, three, seven, zero. What? Three, seven, nine, zero, four, eight, eight. Okay. Sell a condition. Sell this product. And I can sell it. Oh, one new from thirty-two ninety-nine. Doesn't know how fast it'll sell. So let me take the A ASIN number here and go to Amazon. Clip it in here. I'm going to use Jungle Scout. Sixteen reviews, one seller. Gives me a little net thing there. And it doesn't really sell. Low demand, low competition. But it's $32.99. Now what can I actually pay for that exact item? $32.99. How do I put it for a dollar less? Let's see. See the catch the picture here. There it is, right there, eleven seventy five. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Amazon calculator. Where were you at? I'll just bring up. I'll just put the calculator here. I have so many tabs open. Uh, okay, go back here. I said no, eleven seventy five. Here's the calculator. So we'll put this at 1175. $32.99. Just to see how much I would make on it. If it ever sells, I'd make $12.94. That's pretty good. Let's just look on eBay real quick and just take a look at this here. Let's get this out of here. Uh, I just want to. Look, I don't think it's selling for more on eBay. There's no way. Go to eBay, click here, eBay, and uh, <laughs> whatever. So that's not going to happen there. All right. That'd probably do a lot better on Facebook Marketplace. So this will go in the box. All right. So what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here. Um, it's going to be a pause, but I'm actually going to stop the video and uh, end it. And then I'm going to make a new video when I have everything that's going to go up there and attach. Now you've seen where I have, um, you've seen where I've got rejected and you've seen this, some stuff where I can add it. So I am going to go through all the boxes over the next whatever time I got to get them in my inventory list I've got a lot of in between paperwork to do it's gonna take me a while to do it um, little by little I'm not gonna sit here all night and do this I'll spread it out over some time and um, I'll have the whole listing and then when I come back I'll have everything listed I'll show let's see how we can list it how we can print it and um, how we can get it all ready and shipped on to Amazon 
and make a little bit of money all right um this is just learning amazon i just want a little side note i did recently get a have an account with a distributor a toy distributor a major toy distributor for like disney and star wars and all kinds of high and stuff the funko pops and all that um i'm not going to ever talk about who it is or i'm not gonna make videos about it but when you get in this business you want to try to expand little by little like i said i've been part-time selling on ebay for a couple of years and um if you're a subscriber or you're watching this in diy dollar bills channel i decided to start making videos as um i'm moving on up i don't know how long it's going to take it could take me months it could take me a couple years but i want you to subscribe and stay with me as we uh move this on up so stick with me we're 30 minutes into this video and the next half of this video that you will see will be what happens when we get all this stuff here where are you at buddy when we get all oh, did i lose you there we are there's two there so when i have this fully listed and print the labels where it says print labels for this page and i have my label printer and um 30 i guess 30 per page and then we start going to town i guess it'll tell me where it's going to ship some stuff and where it's going to not so all right then i will see you soon this is gary d for diy bills for the first half of this video peace out unpause what's up everybody i'm back for you it was a, maybe a few seconds for me it was the next <laughs> it's it's there oh 16 hours later so i slept on it got up today and did some more so here we go so you see i have uh several listed i have what eight eight different ones listed here and it's not that hard uh to do last night was too late and i was too tired to figure this out a little bit but um as you can see here we're gonna i'm gonna list one and then i'm gonna repause the video list everything else because i'm not gonna have you you don't have to watch me list every single thing on here but it's not hard now as i thought it would be so i'll go to inventory add a product okay and i'm going to pick something up the box here pick up this little oxy cleaner the keurig viewers thing i'm going to put in the um upc code eight nine nine seven seven zero 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 three four seven and you should see a pop up there i'm going to sell it as brand new Okay, later. Sell this product. There it goes right there. It's selling from $9.95. I'll sell it for the same price. Alright, I'm gonna put a SKU on it. My SKU, I'll add this because I've been adding inventory as I go. So my SKU number is uh 727A00248. Condition is new. I'm going to save and finish. Um, then I'm going to come here. I'm going to use the Amazon barcodes on everything. Even though it says I can track it with the manufacturer's barcodes, I'm hearing some bad stuff about that. That stuff's not, I don't know. Somebody says, a person I trust on YouTube, she says, do everything. Manufacturer's barcode. I think I left, I mean, Amazon barcode. I think I left one item like that, but. I don't know how to get back, so I'm just going to leave it and pray for the best on that. It's not an expensive item. Okay, exist when you come here and you're going to do your shipping plan. I think I showed it last night. You want to create a shipping plan. And that's my shipping plan right there. Add to my shipping plan to continue. And here, do not fill this in because that means it will put change all of these numbers. So I have three of this item, two of this, one of these. If I put four up here, it'll change all of them to four. So I want to go down here. And I'm ignoring these. See what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to put a one of those. 
hit continue, and boom, that's it. I'll, no prep needed. Choose category, no prep needed. Make sure anything that's outside of a bag, you have it one of those poly bags that has the warning labels. You can buy those on Amazon um, that has the chokeable warning labels and stuff like that. You've got to send that in from what I understand. But there you go. That's my next item. Now, if I were to go to review shipments right here, let's skip to review shipments. I had just noticed this before I restarted the video. Um, See, what it's doing is it's putting, it's Ruskin, Florida, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Cutter, New Jersey. So some of my items are going to go here, some are going to go here, and some are going to go there. But I'm not ready to do it yet, of course. So um, that will be shipping. To, and uh, the Amazon, shipping to Amazon will probably be super cheap. They get, I mean, they get like 90% off. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of ridiculous. You wish we could get delivery prices like that. But, um. They know where they want those prices to be sent. I live in Florida. I even know where I was. was that Ruskin, Florida? I never even heard of that. I've only been in Florida for five years anyway. Carter, New Jersey, I'm familiar with. So I used to live in New York City. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, go here. I'm going to add another product. Bam. Just add another one. Throw it in there. I'm going to put this on the side because I do have to add that to my inventory list. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the whisk. We'll do one more. We'll do uh, six, three, eight, eight, two, seven, eight, three, nine, seven, zero, three. Boom. Now I'm not gonna do too many of these big ass shipments to Amazon because I'm a one person, you know, band here, and this. I guess I'm going through it faster. Some of it could take a while. And I definitely want to keep all of this inventory in my house. If it can sit in the Amazon warehouse, and whatever happens, happens. If in six, like in six months it don't sell, I'll call for them back and try to just sell them on my own. Um, just try to get some money back. But um, I'm going to... Um, I have to wait. For, I ordered some poly bags today. So I have to put that in. But I'm going to... Um, do this just for experience and learning and um when i get with my wholesaler and stuff like that i'll know the process so um that way it'll be much easier for me i can make me a separate inventory sheet for that type of stuff and um this is pretty much it sell this product this one's going to be a uh, 249 um, my price is going to be it says seven ninety seven to noon, so but, but, I'll do, let's do one penny less. <laughs> um, seven two seven a zero zero two four nine. Condition is new. Save and finish. I don't know how many people actually show this. Save and continue. There is a video on Amazon itself that shows you, uh, I mean, a good portion of the videos, there's a new way of doing it. If everything's one skew, they have an easy way of doing it. But there's some series of videos on uh, Amazon, YouTube videos that are on Amazon that show you how to do this stuff here. I looked a little bit into one and then pretty much, I didn't have to read the rest of the videos because then I, then I got, um, I started flying through it. So, Continue here, add to existing shipping plan, choose one, we'll choose that's the one, and boom, and boom, we're going to have, it's only one of those, one, continue, bang, done. So, that's it, that's the list right there, up here you'll see label products, that's where you put the labels, review shipments, prepare shipments, and all that stuff and set them up. So this looks like it, this, the send and replenish inventory screen here it looks like it guides you through step by step you just have to list if you get approval i want to show you one more thing before we pause this video um on, on this video i'm going to pause it because this is going to be one long video it's going to explain the process from start to end the way i'm learning it collectible like new is like new um so this company home labs would not allow me to sell their hepa filters as new they have their own store but Amazon, I guess, reached a deal with them and says I can put it as like new. 
I've got three of them. I could easily just turn around and just sell them on eBay if I wanted to. I've decided not to do that. I'm going to proceed to Amazon and see what happens. The worst that can really probably happen is they like, hey, listen, you can't. You and I also put it for a little bit less than Home Labs themselves did. You can't do that. Home Labs is not allowing this. And I'll say, send them back to me. I'll probably take a little bit of chump loss, you know, shipping loss on that. Learning experience. Remember at the beginning, somewhere in the video, I said I'd rather lose 50 to 100 bucks making my own mistakes than paying $1,000 for a course. Because you pay $1,000 for a course, you're probably going to make these mistakes or you're going to have, you're going to lean on the one person selling the course so much who's selling to so many people. He can't really help you as well as you can from coming in here. So you're going to, you're going to pay for a course, a big expensive course to learn this and you're going to make these mistakes. Don't, you know, that's why I'm saying if I make the mistakes, if I end up I'm going to end up, everything here sells. I'm in a profit. I know I'm going to make my $200, $325 back, pretty much. Between this and the stuff that's going to go on eBay, Macari, Poshmark, I'm going to make my $325 back. No questions asked in profit. But I probably, you know, won't make much more than that. Um, if a lot of stuff doesn't sell and I make some, some mistakes. Or I'm going to double, triple my money. If, you know, everything goes well. So this is the best time to learn because I want to have this ready because when I get with my toy manufacturer later this summer and get ready for the holidays, I want to kill it. So I'm going to pause this video. All right. It could be two days before I actually come back on here and unpause and get to the next step or three days or a week, you know, but I'm, this is video editing magic at its best. So you're going to hear from me in a few seconds but I'm going to come back to you in a couple days or a week <laughs> alright so Gary D for DIY Dollar Bills pause unpause what's up I am back a few seconds for you actually a few hours I thought it would take, be taking a lot of time but I started going through zipping through this and uh, I got the list um, I went through everything so what I did was I scanned everything before I started doing this list, which I don't think I've mentioned yet. I put in some boxes what I know I could sell on Amazon and put in the other stuff that I couldn't. All right, so I got 39 out of the 83 items. So it was 83 items in the box. One was broken. Um, two we kept. So at least 80 items, and about half of them, 39, I was able to sell on Amazon. Actually, as far as SKUs, um, less than half because some of them are multiple, like two of this, um, two of this one, three. But and when I first started going through the 888 Lots box on this, I wasn't worried to, since I was getting it at half price, um, I wasn't worried about, you know, for $277. I wasn't a whole lot worried about profitability. I mean, I could see what they said on 888 Lots, whether it would sell for on Amazon. Figured the fees and, and stuff like that. I'm going to make a profit on it. But mainly, this $277 is a fantastic learning experience. And um, so I've got everything here in the prepare products section that's up here um, ready to go. So now um, we are going to click on label products. Now, I made a mistake, and one of these does not have... Oh, I also want to let you know prep guidance apply to all so you want to I click no prep needed on any of them because if you choose that Amazon has to prep like this here they want me to bubble wrap that whole box but I already it was already bubble wrapped this one they want it taped together it was already taped all right and it says the merchant if you want Amazon to do it they're gonna charge you extra all right but no prep needed doesn't mean to be in a shipping box because they're gonna use their shipping box of course you know so whatever, if you send it to them in a box, they're going to take their box, your box, and put it inside an Amazon box, Amazon on, whatever prime. Um, I also know that you cannot put any marketing materials in there. Don't put your website. Don't put none of that stuff in there. Um, they'll toss it at the minimum, you know. So I'm just telling what about here, about how strict these guys are. Oh, look at this. i got to update my browser. I'll do that later. All right. So we are here. 
and we are going to continue so we're at the next label so who labels I'm gonna label if I want Amazon a label they will charge I bought those labels merchant 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 all right so how many labels do we get so there's a total labels of 36 so it wants me to do 30 labels for this page now I don't have a camera on me and stuff but I got off of eBay in fact I can go to my eBay account and show you what I bought uh, you're gonna see my purchase history <laughs> I know so I got Google on I got some more bubble mailers I right, can buy that here fulfilled by Amazon FBI blank barcode labels print okay it's 30 pack I got 100 sheets um, 30 on each sheet that's 3,000 labels I mean that's a lot more than I need but I have for a long time so that's what I purchased there all right okay so I'm going to open up this pack here and pull out one sheet go on my ink chip printer I only have I use my ink chip printer for ship for making labels anyway I do not have a small label printer yet I don't feel like investing 300 bucks in that yet I don't need it I have plenty of black cartridges I get pretty pretty cheap and I, even with all the labels that I print I go through maybe two of those cartridges per year and the cartridges cost me like 10 bucks I get these refurbished cartridges Oh, you're not supposed to whatever use them. I have an Epson printer. I'm fine with that. You know, there's no need for me to spend that right now. I probably will get in the future because it would be nice to have two printers. But for now, I don't need it. You still need an inkjet printer. For this. Okay, so I just loaded 30 in there. It wants me to print 36 labels. Oh, because some of them I messed up and didn't put merchant. That means it's going. The owner is responsible for performing the required preparation and will also need to apply the label. That's fine. Okay. All right. So I'm going to print labels for this page. I guess it will give me the first 30. Oh, for this page. And then I continue and it will give me for the next page. Okay. I guess. Oh, popped it down here. And there are my labels. Two. Oh, it did all 36 of them. So let me put in two sheets of, of paper here. But I'll do one at a time. So this is my first time doing this. And I'm going to print. Let me pop this out here. You can hear the print going off. There's the back page. And it printed, wow, perfectly. So as you see it here, though that package that I bought from eBay, it printed right in the center of each of those stickers, perfectly. So 30 on one page, six on another. Um, of course, I'm going to use these six. That's why you get a. That's why you get a hundred sheets of this because if you do even one, um, probably got to throw the sheet away, the rest of them away, which I will. I don't mind. Um, I paid twelve bucks for that pack, so. All right, new, new, and these are all XO, XO, they're not the B00, so they have different type of labeling here now. Okay, the rest of them can be done by manufacturer's barcode. We'll see how that comes out. That I might have messed up on. If they don't, they'll accept it, but all right, so we're going to hit continue here. See what's the next, review the shipments. 
creating planned shipments. Okay, I think this is going to tell me it's going to take all the shipments and separate them in the boxes to the different places I have to send them. Um, that's what this page is about. We see the circles of patience. Okay, so we're going to three of the units. Ago. Most of them are going to Charlotte, North Carolina. There's a couple going to Salt Lake City, Utah, and a couple going to New Jersey. All right. Um, view shipment. What are the two that are going to Carteret, New Jersey? The trash bags. One. Oh, the HEPA filter replacement. Air purifier. And the coffee filters. Only one? I have two of those. Sure, I put two. I hope I did that. The All right, let me see this one. The bottle cork remover. Now I know I put two of those, so they want me to send one cork bottle cork. Let's look at this one. We should start seeing. Let's look for this wearing pro uh, cork remover down here. There's the other one. Okay, so they want me to send one to, to, um, to, to, um, to North Carolina and one to Utah. That's where they know they sell them. And that is, pow, bang. That is where those are going. Um, let's see. So maybe split into multiple. It may be split at the merchant. Mm -hmm. We will assign each shipment to fulfillment based on several factors, including size, category of product, and fulfillment network factors. They have their algorithm. I'm not going to argue with that. All right. Let us go to approve and continue. Validating plan state. Larger shipping plans may take a few minutes. Let's see. All right, let's do this. Let's work on this shipment. Short one here. Okay, let's review the units. The Melita 100 count coffee filters. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and it may take me a few you know several minutes to figure this out and then I'm gonna unpause so it may take me 10-15 minutes and again you know the story you know how it goes but for you it'll just be a few seconds so this is Gary D for DIY dollar bills and I don't say peace I say okay unpause how you guys doing I'm back all right this is the next day for me all right so before Get, continue on here. You can see I boxed up a shipment with three units and one with two. I've already went to UPS store and dropped them off and sent them off to Amazon. And I'm working on the big shipment here. I'm actually tagging it up with these uh, with the labels I printed. Put them over the UPC stickers. Before I go any further, I just want to say with this experience, it's a lot of paperwork for one person to do with something with 30, 40 different SKUs. It's just a lot. Needless to say, the shipping price, the ship for this box was around six dollars and thirty something cents. The shipping for this box was five something. Uh, this box was heavy. It had a heavy, one heavy item in there that brought it to like three, four pounds. But this had two very light items in there. It's five dollars UPS. I mean, UPS is generally that's the price of a little more than first class, which is fine. I just want to say that the shipping price for all of these will cut into, you know, that's an expense that you would have to eat. So, I won't even wait to the end of the video to say this. I won't be doing this again. I will be using Amazon specifically for one SKU merchandise. Say I get 40 brand new prepaid cell phones that I can sell on Amazon, one SKU. I'm going to do that. 
Um, Amazon's new update to their shipping system right now, they have a new update, and it's primarily primarily made for one SKU people. They're going to update it so you can do multiple stuff. But to do this for one person, this is an eBay where you can just list and list and list and list. You list here, man, and you're going through one, two, three, four, five, I mean, steps over and over and over again. So... I would not recommend this if you're a one person. You know, if you're two people and one person's going to do this and one person's going to do that, maybe. If you have a little bit of a team and you do a lot more of this to make money to pay everybody on your team, definitely. But a one person doing this, I'm not doing this again. Besides that, I got the items for half price because it was my first shipment. If I got it at full price with the work and the profit, it really wouldn't be worth it to me from 888 lots. So I'm not say I'm not going to buy from 888 lots again. I would buy from 888 lots again. I'll probably buy what I'm really good at is electronics. Um, if I can get them at a decent price, but electronics is probably the way I'm going to move. Us when I do liquidation, I'm probably going to move to that area. Um, right now I'm labeling up all this stuff. And put it in boxes. And just to show you the last step here. Alright, so if I'm going to do... And I'm not shipping this all in one box. I'm not trying to carry that sucker. 32 up with probably half and half. So, uh... Small... I'm shipping individual boxes. Um... It tells you here... You can review and modify units if you want to move units around. I leave this on Amazon Parry UPS. You can use another carrier um, if you want, but I'll just stick with UPS. Um, if you're shipping pallets of over 150 pounds, you have what they call the LTL less than a truckload. I'll give you a good price on that. Shipment pack. I'm going to put. Um, how will it show you? More than one SKU per box. Okay. How many boxes are in this shipment? Two. All right. And then I will hit confirm. And then it's going to want to tell me box quantity one and box quantity two. So how many I'm going to put in each box? I could say three. It depends on how I pack them. All right. So once I hit that button, it'll give me the box weight of each one. Round up. Don't round down. They will charge you and probably charge you normal rates. Round up. That second box that I did for five dollars was one point three ounces. I just said two pounds. One pound three ounces. I said two pounds. I don't want to go down. I don't know what, what what's going to happen. I'm not taking those chances, you know, to save 50 cents. I think the difference when I put it at one pound was like 50 cent difference to possibly being charged five or six bucks later on because you did that. All right, box weight. Here, your box dimensions for each one. Add another box with different dimensions. Once you hit confirm, it's going to let you know your shipping charges. And then you're going to print up your shipping labels and put them on the box. And you will complete shipment. That's it. That would be your final step. That's what I did for the other two boxes. I didn't do them as separate boxes. I did them as one box. Um, and this is how you ship on Amazon, it looks like. It's not difficult. It's just a lot of work for one person with a bunch of different SKUs. Like I said, when I get something, I get 50 of something that's one skew, this will be bang, 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 done. To do different, different stuff all the way down. <sighs> no, not for me. Not for me, not at all. So definitely this stuff is going to Amazon. You know, and six months from now, here come in August or so, or yeah, beginning of August, beginning of September. You know, sometime in August, I will get back and see what I have left. From what I understand, you don't want to leave stuff in Amazon over six months. They start upping the storage fees. And um, if I don't have much of anything left, I don't, I'll just tell them 
They'll probably email me. I'll tell them, do whatever you want with it. That's probably how I've got this stuff. Um, if I have a lot left, I want it back. Even if they ship it back to me they put it, and they charge me for that or whatever, I want it back. I'm going to get, I'm going to recover some kind of money from it somehow. Okay. Cause I'm going to want everything back. So that's my plan because by then we're starting to the fall season towards Christmas when I should have really things getting rolling. But so this video is, um, one of my separate part videos. I was going to make a six part, but I don't need to. You saw my unboxing from 888 Lots. You saw how I pretty much listed on Amazon. I, If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Maybe I skip something. If you have any easier ways of doing this. But doing this is a one person thing. Nah. -uh. And do, and hiring somebody at this point in time for doing this. Nah. -uh. So, I mean, I should, if I sell one third of the stuff, I'll make my money back profits the way I figured it out I hope the shipping charges on these two boxes are not going to be too tremendous but um I'm going to end this video and this time I'm not going to say pause this is Gary D for DIY dollar bills um and say peace